Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with a new video on Illusion Connect. Now in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is taking a look at the brand new banner, going over whether or not you guys should summon because we got the brand new collab coming out. Um, we already have one of the banners right now, but in the next uh, 24 hours or 15 hours, we will also be getting two new banners from the collab and one regular banner. For this video, let's take a look at the character as well as the banner. Before I do that guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, stay tuned for more content on Illusion Connect. Let's get to 3k subscribers, at 3k subscribers I will be doing a giveaway so definitely stay tuned for that. Okay, let's get right into the video. Well, I've already made a video going over the GoGo -Go Saga, if you haven't taken a look at that, go check it out. I should probably leave a link in the descriptions if you guys can't find it, but it should be my latest Illusion Connect video. Now, if you saw my video, I like this event over here where you get to support your character and obviously everyone is going to go for this side because well obviously it's the collab characters and the other side just has an SR or R character who no one cares about. So in the current banner we have right now we got the Sakura banner. So I've seen a lot of people summon for this character and I've seen a lot of people getting good luck and I've seen a lot of people getting bad luck and getting shafted. So let's take a look at which character are in this banner and go over my thoughts on it. First of all, we got Sakura, Minamoto, we got Ashtoroth, we got Biyuki, and then we got Astor, um, Ashwaya, sorry. I think this banner is perfectly split between 50-50 in terms of 50% being good and 50% being bad, which in my opinion is way worse because if you get the 50% bad luck and you get Ashwaya or you get the Astoroth, yeah good luck to you guys you guys are going to be probably really pissed now astoroth isn't a bad character but she's not a character that you'd require like i said miyuki Seagar are a better character than astoroth ashwaya is one of the least used characters in the game and so many people don't like her so many people have gotten her many times that they're annoyed she does have an awakening but she's still just an okay unit like d tier c tier not a unit that you want to use so if you do get astoroth or ashwaya in this banner i'm pretty sure you guys are going to be upset people like me who already have miyuki awakened are probably going to be annoyed as well if we get a miyuki so this banner over here is like 50 50 i don't want to summon for this because even though i could get a chance of getting the character if i get ash Doroth or ashwaya i'm just going to be upset i can tell that for you guys if you guys are wondering whether or not you guys should summon i know she's a collab character and i typically shouldn't be telling you guys to summon but personally i would say this is a skip now you can go in and summon do the first three multi and get your a guaranteed ssr so is it free no it's first two multi and get your guaranteed ssr character if you do not get sakura minamoto i advise you guys to just skip overall first two fine if you don't get anything from that you can skip the reason why is if you take a look at this it requires a brand new ticket now to do a full summon you're going to require 4k now 4k in terms of selected tickets fine 4k for a random ticket that we're not going to see or use ever again it's a big no so if i wanted to use 4k on a banner i wouldn't use it on a zombie land collab character especially with the rates and especially with the characters that are already inside the banner so personally i don't like this banner you can skip on this banner i do believe sakura is good but i promise you guys if you get Astaroth, you're gonna feel like you're wasting your money. 4k is a huge chunk of diamond, and if you do manage to get a bad luck, it's just gonna hit you different. So, yeah, for me personally, I would say skip. But I haven't taken a look at the character, so let's take a look at her skills so we can take a look at what she does or whether her skills are just top tier and everyone must summon. I do apologize for any background noises that you can hear, but, anyways, let's take a look at that. Now obviously this is a waifu character and loads of people like to say waifu over meta but good luck to you guys is waifu over being shafted you choose would you like to get shafted or hit that 50% chance of getting that good luck um, it's up to you guys anyways let's take a look at her skills the first one her passive when sakura hp is near zero she becomes zombified inherits 100% attack 100% defense and 100% hp all attacks will target random single enemies and cannot gain rage wow okay team skill if you deploy sakura ai and janko you will trigger this effect when sakura ai or janko attacks other allied idols will launch a combo attack that is pretty good 
but it just tells you that you want to get the collab characters you want to go in for all of them which in my opinion i would just wouldn't agree with that anyways the unique skill deals attack 210 percent damage to all enemies and inflicts bad luck causing the target to receive attack 60 percent after every action as well as gain one of this debuff for one round stun silence attack minus 30 percent or defense minus 30 percent the debuff are really really good so it could make her a really good character but i don't know i mean her skills for unique are very very good so i can see why everyone wants to summon for her but personally like the race and their luck and the banner and their brand new tickets just don't sit well with me with a special sakura deals 150 percent damage to an enemy and reduces enemy attack by 20 percent that is also very very good so this character over here is solid i could put her in b tier maybe even a tier because of the unique being uh, having a chance to add one of this debuff which is very very good this could be a very very good character especially in uh, pvp let's say every single unit managed to get that stun it, it could be very very good if we take a look at the normal 150 so basic stuff now what class is she is he attacker guardian a sorcerer where is she let me take a look at that i need to refresh my brain she's a spell unit okay not a bad unit but think about it we already have so many spell units that are good we got miyuki we got Seagar. so if you pull sakura miyamoto you have to find a way to put her in your team including all the zombie ladder character as well as having miyuki and other spell unit which is going to be very very hard to do there's so many things that makes her stand out for a good character but there's also downside with the banner and everything her animations are also very very good and she's the main character i believe in the zombie land collab so it's going to be upsetting for many people when they pull and they don't get her character or with my video telling them not to summon but i just have to give you the facts she's a good character i am not denying that it's just the fact that you have to use 4k to summon that's 8k to, on a banner and if you don't get anything from that it's just an instant shot and if you do manage to summon on this banner you have to summon on the rest of the zombie land character and let's say you didn't get the character within the first two multis you have to go all the way to the seventh which is just a lot a lot of um, currency being used anyways that is my opinion on the brand new banner don't forget to like the video subscribe stay tuned for more content on illusion connect um, i will make a video going over the patch note because there's other stuff i want to cover before i end the video i want to talk to you about the Ares battlefield like always i forgot to do it completely and i am over here i did lose some of my matches if you take a look at that and in the last one i won but i wasn't able to gain any points because literally the stuff went to break time so i didn't get any points for that which i was very upset about but yeah i missed my universal shots so now it's going to take me an additional 20 days to get my kazumi awakened and i'm pretty upset as you can see i just needed a few more and i would have gotten it now my overall force on the Ares battlefield is just that it's not free to play friendly it's not like easy to do it's not meant to be easy but at the same time it's just way too difficult and the rewards just don't justify it maybe they should move the universal shards all the way to like 180 or a little bit lower or add more universal shards the dust as well is just 120 which is nothing stay tuned for more content on illusion connect it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out